Hey bulls, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kendra Nicole here. If you're new and if you're returning, it's always nice to see you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get achieve these bouncy wavy curls instantly using your flexi rods normally with flexi rods you really like you put them in and then you have to wait overnight i'm going to show you how you can put them in and get them in minutes and i'm not lying i'm not tricking you guys i'm going to show you guys plus i'm also going to give you guys a little story time sharing with you all um one of my insecurities that i had as a child up 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 la, la. <laughs> up until my childhood through my entire teenage years and very close leading up to my adulthood. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video that I made for you guys. Let me know if you guys want more of these and let's jump right in. So we're just gonna get right into this chit chat, get ready with me. I'm gonna go over one of my insecurities with you guys. So basically, I'm just gonna jump right in. When I was younger, for those of you guys who, you guys will probably see, like you guys could see, I have a big forehead, okay? My forehead is huge. And when I was younger, like let's say from zero to, I'ma call it zero to like six or eight, I was really unaware that my forehead was big. I didn't know that I didn't have the normal size forehead or the norm forehead of society. So I was, you know, I'm innocent. I don't really know what's good. And I'm, I'm, I'm Gucci with life, right? Then I turned, seven, eight, start playing outside with the neighborhood, like the kids in the neighborhood. And, you know, they decided we're gonna like, we're gonna let sis know about herself. So basically like around six or seven is when I started to become conscious about having a big forehead because like I said, um, playing outside with the children in the neighborhood, you know, especially like we're all Caribbean, something in the caribbean that's you know always done is you're gonna get teased if you're around if you're growing up in the caribbean so you're growing up out here around caribbeans you will be teased okay so i got called big forehead yell big head five head alien head alien you name it i got teased and this is when i became very conscious that i looked different than everybody else this is when I started to look at myself a little bit longer or more in the mirror. Um, I started to wonder why did I get, like why, why do I have a big forehead? Like how come I have to like look like an alien, right? This is what I thought at that time. Going to elementary, you know, kids are just mean. They're just, ugh. some of them, not all, don't get me wrong. And going to, going to elementary school, I remember like, you know, the teasing continued with, you know, like around my forehead, which it didn't get to me that much because I still, I didn't have a choice. I didn't know how to like hide it at that point. I just knew like, okay, like you look different from the other people who are making fun of you and they're gonna tease you about it. And there's not much that I could really do than just go home and maybe just sit in front of the mirror and just cry about looking different. And I'm a person like, you know, I have my way, but I wouldn't, I don't think I would really tease someone. I don't like to be teased, so I'm not gonna tease someone, especially if I know like it will hurt their feelings. I will try my best not to. I'm not saying I never did it, but I don't recall myself really just doing it just because I wanna be nasty to someone or like who likes to be teased about something that they have, right? Anyways, fast forward, I get to high school now. I'm like in my second year of high school and at this point, you know, in high school, you know, you start to develop, you start to, you know, your hormones are catching. So you want to look good for the opposite, like whatever you're into, okay? Whether it's the opposite sex, I'm into the opposite sex. So I want to look good for the opposite sex. And having a big forehead, it's not me looking good, as I thought at that time. Like, I'm not looking good. Um, so how am I going to look good? And I get it. Yes, I'm in high school. What am I doing studying? What are you studying my books? As my mother would say, and all my aunties and everyone would say, what are you doing studying, man? You're supposed to be studying your books. Yes, I know that. I know that. But, you know, you're in high school now. You want to look good. You want to, like, fit in. You know, it's the norm. Some people, they, like, they just don't care. I was the person I cared. Like, I want to look good. Like, you know? So, starting in high school, it started to really bother me even more. I was really more aware that, okay, like this is just not working out for me. And clearly, you know, there's nothing that could be done. Like I'm born with it, it's not going anywhere. So I decided to start wearing a black band. 
a black stocking band so basically i would take stockings that i had and i would cut it and make bands for my forehead i used to go to a dollar store and buy packs of stockings to make sure like my stack is up like <laughs> <laughs> it was really bad and I think low-key my mom used to like throw them in the garbage as a way to like you know make me face it and embrace it and like face the freaking world so my forehead if I remove my wig so y'all can really see you you guys see so that's my forehead so my black band will come like over here and I would I would so basically like how this is underneath that's how I would wear my hair every day with that black band and pretty much you know when i discovered i can wear this black band i felt so much at ease with myself my self-esteem went from feeling like so unattractive so um and pretty to i have a chance now like i have a chance of looking pretty and looking good you know and um i never left the house without wearing that black band <laughs> as any of my friends who were with me in that era who are still around me right now i did not you did not catch me on the streets in the grocery stores on the sidewalk without that band that's how religious i was with that band like we were a couple i figured out a way to feel comfortable in my own skin feel comfortable around others without thinking that they're just staring at my forehead because like I just felt really like from a mile away all you see coming is not Kendra but just forehead like that's all I really that's how I started thinking about myself I really wasn't comfortable I wasn't secure in myself I wasn't secure to be around people because I just thought like all their focus all their focus was on my forehead and it's like no like people are focusing on other things like why do you feel like you're that special you know like I mean you know like it became very it became very um not traumatic but it became very like unhealthy you know where i couldn't even hold proper conversations with boys like like just regular conversation with boys because i was just like oh like whether the guy even shows in showed interest in me or not or just wanted to be friends i was just thinking like he's just focused on my forehead and he's just like damn sis head is really big like i was just focused on really the wrong things and i remember my mom like when i used to cry and like complain to her like you know mom i don't i don't like this like how can i fix it like why you know why was i made this way she's not gonna she she's sweet and she's nice if you know her but like she was like girl stop your shit that is your beauty like what, what are you going on with like you know like she'll kind of roughen me up like that like what are you saying like that's your beauty sis like you know and she she always would tell me like oh i don't know why you're complaining about your forehead so much like that is a beauty like you know stop trying to cover it up and i'm just like no like you don't understand like um i'm being teased about it i don't like it it makes me feel very horrible about myself to like where like i said i don't even want to go outside and be around people if it's exposed without my black band and um yeah and like she just didn't understand and well she kind of did because she and i don't even find she has a big forehead to be honest but she said that growing up she also was teased um growing and she grew up in the island so just imagine <laughs> no remorse um for like these children will come at you like they will roast you okay you could be a big adult and these little children will roast you okay but basically like she's like she went through the same thing like they will call her donkey head or donkey forehead and you know and she didn't she like she couldn't get out of that like she didn't have the option of wearing a freaking black band like i did like she just embraced herself and she's like listen i'm pretty with this donkey forehead or not i'm still that itch you know what i'm saying so she didn't under she didn't understand in that sense like why i'm so sensitive to people making fun of me with my forehead when she went through the same thing um and like i said like i just found it made me it made me very shy it made me very awkward socially awkward it made me have very um, low self-esteem um, but then I remembered like basically how I got out of wearing headbands was after watching um, is this one over here no I remember you guys remember Tyra Banks right so a lot of people when you hear Tyra Banks you think automatically oh this is the, the sis with the big forehead which till this day, I kid you not, I do not think sis has, like her and Rihanna, I'm like, y'all say that she has a big forehead, they have big foreheads, but I really don't see it. Like, 
I'm not catching that. Like, I have a big forehead. Like, I just really assumed that I was the only one with a big forehead. Maybe because I was so, like, focused on my forehead, I wasn't noticing others with the same forehead. And, like, it didn't seem to bother them, but it just really bothered me. And, um, basically Tyra Banks, so she is a model, or she was a model, I'm not sure if she's retired or not, but, and then she had the Tyra, top, America's Top Model, and then she had the Tyra Banks show. And one of her segments, it, one of her segments on the show was Fix It or Flaunt It. And I remember this one lady, she was like, you know, maybe in between her 30s, 40s, and, um, she had a forehead as well, and she despised it like oh sorry she despised it and basically it was like okay well are you gonna fix it or are you gonna flaunt it now before seeing this segment um i would always wonder like how can i fix this you know like i didn't really know about hair transplant at that time and i was just like they can't like if i was to like let's say if surgery was an option what are they supposed to really do because like I feel like my brain comes up all day over here so it's like you're gonna give up your brains just to like fit in and then be like you know I don't know something else could happen by you doing that which is obviously I wouldn't do that but like I didn't see another option until I found the stocking option so and in that episode I believe at that time hair transplants wasn't a known thing or I don't think it was mentioned in that episode either so what sis decided to do was flaunt it so they gave her a whole makeover and they gave her bangs and they're just like this is a way if you have a big forehead and you don't feel too comfortable or you're very insecure about it you can wear bangs and i was just like oh, why didn't i think about that like i'm going through summers with two tones like it was it was really bad like i was going through summers with two tones like legit where i would wear the band when i took it off at home was like my color and then the rest of my face including my body was like tanned it, w it was horrible um and at home really was the only place i felt comfortable taking off my band you know like when you come home like for feet like females with, like who wear bras you come home and you just take off your bra like oh. that was the moment that like that was a moment for me coming home and taking off like my band it was kind of like a mask to the world but at home i felt most comfortable um like without it on because there was no one there to like tease me or make fun of me or make me feel like I'm so different you know um it was like my safe place being at home so basically after seeing that back to the segment so basically after seeing that episode on the Tyra show I decided that leading up to my 18th birthday I believe or turning after my 18th birthday I decided that I'm no longer gonna be wearing headbands like I'm getting older in life and I cannot go through life wearing a freaking headband like just imagine like you know I get married and I'm walking on the aisle with a whole black headband or like I find like a off-white or white headband to put on my head like I don't know but to me that just sounds and it looks like it's good it would be like very ridiculous so I'm just like now nah, like I need to grow up and I need to embrace whatever it is that I was given and i remembered i started off with front bangs and even then i was still very uncomfortable not having a band over my bangs to secure it because you know one little like one little piece of wind lifting up my like lifting up my bangs and i would freak out like freak out and i'm not sure people will notice that but i would really freak out because i'm just like i don't want no part of my forehead showing none 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 and um it went from that then it went to me wearing side bangs and then eventually i decided i wanted to go natural so um me going natural now i also decided i no longer want to put heat in my head in my hair which is also like um when you go natural you you choose if you want to put heat or you don't want to put heat in your hair i chose i don't want to put heat in my hair and so i couldn't wear straight bangs anymore so um no bangs my natural hair i'm choosing you know to get out of you know the whole headband thing for good so that's when i really really exposed my forehead and at first i won't lie i was kind of uncomfortable and still self-conscious about like people staring or like just just the trauma of someone just making fun of me would like 
traumatize me because I'm just like, I really don't want to hear anything. I don't want no one making fun. I mean, now if someone makes fun of my forehead, like, I really don't care because it's like, I really totally embrace it. So I would just laugh and be like, okay, like, and what? Like, I already know my forehead's big. Like, <laughs> tell me something I don't know. Like, find something else on me that I don't already know. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that was that becoming natural i didn't have a choice especially like at the time it was like wearing your hair like taking so basically i went from using the, the stocking band around my forehead to literally using it to do my high puff and basically my whole forehead was would be exposed and i just kind of got into the hang of it after realizing like nobody's really paying that much attention as you thought sis like you were out here worried and it's really not a big of a deal um to then i would also start wearing hairstyles that i wouldn't wear before which would be like let's say like slicking my hair all the way up in one i would never have done that in my teenage years like you would have never caught me doing that i started to do that um and not feel a waste i won't lie in the beginning though you know like how you use the mirror to like check the back of your head I would use it to check the sides of my forehead. Like, okay, how's my forehead looking? Is it is it is it is it doing too much forehead or are we good? Right? And also I don't wanna I don't wanna pull it too back to like then my hairline starts to recede. I don't want into that. So that's one thing I would do. And sometimes here and there I still kinda do to just to make sure like it's not giving too much forehead. But besides that, like I became very comfortable in my own skin. I finally realized um, you know what my mom was telling me about like my beauty you know um and i took tyra banks advice like i can't fix it so i'm definitely gonna flaunt it right um and and that's how and that's that's how, that it hasn't been too long since i've been flaunting my forehead it's, it's been probably not even oh, a decade like it's less than a decade that I've been actually comfortable enough in my own skin where I'm not worried about showing my forehead. Um, and I'm very comfortable with, you know, like flaunting it. And, you know, like I really used to think that people, like I would walk outside and like people would just stare. Like it, it even became to the point where I would skip school if I couldn't find a black black stocking to cover my forehead like it was really that bad um i i couldn't leave my house you know so it kind of became like a dependency on it um to just live and like be amongst people in society um and that honestly looking back like that wasn't healthy like imagine like i'm skipping school like my mom paid for a whole like for me to go to school to get an education and i'm out here skipping school because i cannot accept myself or I'm uncomfortable, you know, because of this one insecurity where it's like, it's not even that much of a big, of a big deal, sis. Like, get over yourself, like, you know? So, you know, realizing, looking back now, realizing how unhealthy that was, um, I'm glad that I kind of transitioned and, um, and I'm glad that I'm free and like, I've accepted it and I see the beauty in my forehead and I, and I love it. Like, what? The whole, like, especially with wigs bro you know how much of a pro it is to have a big forehead when you're putting if you have a lace frontal says i can start my hairline wherever i want it to start i can start it where it, i can start it at exactly where it does start or i can bring it down if i want to like complaints where like girl kendra oh so embarrassing but other than that too um what else do i want to say um, yeah, I'm just really happy that I was able to embrace it and I decided to make this video because I feel like it's something that maybe someone watching may be going through the same exact thing or feeling the same exact way or you may have a different insecurity, you know, but all I'm going to say is, you know, it's either you, like as Tyra said, you know, her advice was you either fix it or you flaunt it. And honestly, I could understand, like, I feel like when you're younger, though, and, like, you have something like, let's say, big eyes or a big nose or, in my case, a big forehead, I just feel like it shows out more than, you know, like, and I, like, back then, I felt like my forehead was, like, really popping out. So now when I look at myself, I'm just like, what was you worried about? But then again, I'm just like, I feel like you grow into these things, and I feel like I grew into my forehead or my forehead grew into me, whichever one makes sense. 
and um like it, it made it easier for me as well to embrace it because it didn't seem as big as when I was young. Like when I was younger, that shit just looked ginormous to me. And now I'm just like, it's pretty small. But yeah, I was just really compelled or like, I just really wanted to like take this off my chest and share it with you guys. So you guys can know a little bit about me as well. Um, and just like make it be a message to anyone that has an insecurity. It could be the same one or something different. And you may, like, you may be going through the same feelings or same things. Um, just, I would just hope that you know you find your transition and you can transition as beautifully as I did and accept yourself and know that you know um like you're perfect like you're good and what may not be the norm is norm is normal like my forehead at that time when I was younger I wouldn't I didn't realize that it was so much around me that I just figured that it, I was an alien but as i grew up i'm just like girl like you're not the only one with the big forehead like you made yourself feel so like oh my god it's like get over yourself you're not the only one with a big forehead sis like what's wrong with you what is wrong with you what is wrong with you you know so um it's really not a big of a deal and if you're someone that's making fun of someone who looks different I hope that this video, this like inside of how I used to feel because of that, I hope this gives you insight to maybe stop, you know? Not saying you have to be super sensitive to everything, cause like me and my friends, we roast each other, but like if someone is feeling uncomfortable about it or something that really makes them feel bad about themselves, like I would hope that, you know, you would stop, you know? And same goes for me too. Like if I'm doing something that's like hurting someone or making them feel weird, I would hope like I can be, I can, um like see that or if they voice their opinion i would like i would definitely stop it really it really when i look back like it really kind of effed me up i was really in my head for a long time i really didn't feel great about myself for a long time and now it's true i got other things to worry about like other things to really worry about and cry over besides a freaking forehead girl get your life <laughs> that's me telling myself that don't worry if you guys want to see more videos like this like let me know so i can definitely provide it for you guys um it also is going to help me to be more comfortable speaking like live like one take in front of the camera um or if you guys prefer voiceovers let me know you know um and yeah, is this where I stopped? Yeah, this is where I stopped. One, two, three, four. I don't know about you guys, but we like I feel like everyone has that one classic bone straight wig. And for me, just the thought of like changing the style, like I feel like it's such a classic look that I just wanna keep it classic, but I'm just like, I want the curls. I don't wanna really buy a wig with those curls because it's kinda you know out of my budget right now. Um so yeah, like I felt like oh like I'm gonna have to curl this one because this is like my longest wig um but yeah like I just felt like so doubtful like I got anxiety and I'm just like sis like you forgetting that you can just straighten the wig right after like sometimes I just think I just I just ask myself questions about myself huh like what's wrong with you <laughs> what's wrong with you but yeah, so I, I took one for the team and I decided I'm just gonna curl this one and I'll just re-straighten it back when I'm ready for it to be back to my classic straight, bone straight look. And yeah, my camera is dying and my freaking memory cards have been acting a fool. But I'm gonna, hopefully like this thing heats up quick enough. Um, the steamer that I'm gonna be using. So I'm just putting, basically like acting like I'm in the chair at a salon or some shit. I have a towel with me for when I come like around my ears and stuff that it doesn't burn me. This is the steamer that I got. I got it off of Amazon. There's some heat coming out. Let's see. Ooh, I don't know if you guys saw that. Okay, so I'm gonna do this quick fast. So I'm just gonna steam the hair. Yes. I really want you guys to see. Yes. See that? Ooh.
still is kind of hot. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me just get this towel. I don't know. I just be doing some real stripping this sometimes. change my battery the hair feels good like it feels like nice and steamed I'm gonna let this dry once it's done I'm gonna come back on camera with my recharged battery and unravel everything for you guys okay so stay tuned I'm not even gonna lie to you. I steamed my hair. I showed you guys that. I think in real time with fast forward, whichever one. I legit stopped my camera, changed my battery. That took me maybe all of two minutes to sit back down, turn this camera back on, and press record. And look at these curls already. And it's dried. It's dried. Steam curls? <laughs> Seize. I mean, yes, I could have dipped them in hot water. I could have left them overnight. Um, but I just feel like if I had dipped them in water, it would have taken longer to dry. With the steam, yes, it's water, but it's steam. Like, it kind of, like, evaporates at the same time. Yo, I am horrible with taking down um, flexi rods, bro. Oh, my God. Look, look at this trouble. Yes, they is. Hold on, this needs to return back. Yeah, but it came out really, it's coming out really good. Steam curl tea get you a steamer. I got it on, yeah, I got it from Amazon. It was, I believe, I think like 20 bucks, maybe 30 bucks. But hey, money is money, you have to spend it when you die, it ain't going with you, so. You might as well invest it on things that you can use down the line as well as on things that you want just for fun. That's how I would like to spend my money. And look, it's bringing, it's bringing y'all beautiful ass curls. Like this is the new wave, steam curls, okay? I'm not lying. Oh, wow. Nah, you guys. Uh, I don't even think I'm gonna be opening them, opening it that much. Sorry, I had to do that. It was, it was pissing me off. Okay, so clearly, you know, this side understood the assignment. It really did. I'm gonna go in with my wand curler and just like tighten up the looser ones that you guys see here so it can be on the same level as the rest. 
and then i'm like do i even really want to like go the extra mile and open it up to really give that tiana taylor look or do i just want to keep it like this because it's really it's really beautiful like it's like a natural it's given like a natural body wave and i'm just like girl we are here for it so yeah, i'm just gonna go in with my curling wand i'm gonna retouch the ones that have kind of like fallen a little bit and then um i'll see what i decide to do because i'm really feeling this right now like yeah So thank you guys so much for watching. It was a pleasure doing this video for you guys. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, Tom people woo. Love you goes on. And as for usual, boo, stay blessed and stay safe. See y'all in my next video. Ciao. So yeah, I just want to also take a moment to shout out my girl Toya. We went to elementary and high school together. Um, I had posted like a little peek on my Instagram of what's to come with this hair. And sis was like, oh wow, like you're really giving me like a Christmas vibe. And I'm just like, oh shit, yeah, like... The red and the green like all of my earrings too it is giving like a holiday vibe so if you're watching this toya let me know down below in the comments shout outs to you girl and um yeah